So Amir, we'll start, um, tell us a bit about why we're here today and, and the initiative that you've been promoting. So basically we're here today in uh, with Think Markets to help uh, take the youth off the streets, put them into boxing. Uh, this is why the collaboration with me has come in, me being a uh, professional boxer myself, so, and, 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 and you know, um, get them involved in gyms and how Think Markets helps in this is they, what they do is they um, help get in these young people, giving them the confidence to get a job in the city, help them, uh, mentor them how to get a job in the city as well. Education is something we're looking at doing as well. So I think Markets and Amir Khan together, you know, with the boxing gyms, is only going to help the youth. And we want to give them a give the, give them a platform. What's happening is there's a lot of knife crimes, gun crimes on the on the streets. Now that's only making it harder for other youth to other uh, young people to get jobs uh, or they're getting involved in stuff like this. What we want to do is open more boxing like, more boxing gyms, want to get them involved in more sporting events. So instead of them hanging around on street corners, they're in the gyms, you know, they're working out, they're, they're channeling their aggression to something positive. So this is the initiative that uh, Amir Khan and Think Markets are doing together. We want to help the help the youth, help the, help the people in these local areas and by by doing this now, in the future, what we're thinking of, we, we have, we've just thought of doing this and, and, plan, and planted something that we are going to be doing something with Stonebridge Boxing Club, where we're going to be sending kids there, let them have the opportunity to train, let the aggression out. At the same time, we'll also be mentoring them. We think Mark is educating them, uh, helping them get jobs and getting that out for them, yeah. And boxing is is littered with stories where, you know, athletes have had difficult upbringings, yeah. difficult childhoods, no, been no. involved in crime, and boxing has has put them on the right path. And hopefully, Definitely. with with what you're doing, this it it can carry on that tradition. And and it helped me quite a lot. Boxing did. Um, took took me off the streets, kept me out of trouble. Um, I was quite naughty when I was in when I was young. So there's going to be many other kids out there, which are probably which were just like me, when I was young. So how boxing changed my life, I'm sure it can change other youngsters' lives as well. And I think it's just brilliant to see that Think Markets, being a big business, they are, are thinking of initiatives like this to help the community, how to improve our community as well. And, and when they when they put the, when, when they ran the idea past me, I was like, 100% I'm with you. I love the idea and I want to do something for the for the people of England. And it's obviously been a, a big weekend in boxing. I'm sure you saw the, the Wilder Fury fight. Yeah. What, what did you make of it? It was a brilliant fight. It was awesome. Um, I think Wilder... Um, box really well but just had fury winning the fight obviously it was a draw it's always harder to win a fight abroad going abroad to win a fight against a home fighter is a little bit difficult but what a great fight it was and i would love to see the rematch again i think the rematch is going to be even better is that what you think fury's got to do next it's got to be the rematch um yeah for both of them i think it is but i think they should take an easy fight in between build that hype back up again so they have a nice easy layoff fight and then they go into the rematch again i think it'll be, it'll be massive I think it, I see it hitting massive pay-per-view numbers. I see it, I see Fury winning this time comfortably, and I think it needs to be in the UK because Fury's taken the fight over there, went all the way to America to fight Wilder. Now I think it's time for Wilder to come to England and maybe taste a bit of the English weather. <laughs> and, and with the judges, it's always difficult from from boxing fans who don't necessarily watch every single fight to understand the difficulties mm -hmm. of the scoring. And as you say, yeah. going abroad to try and get a decision, were you surprised with some of the scoring when we saw the cards oh, after? Yeah, some of the scoring was ridiculous. I saw one of the American judges that scored the fight so widely to Wilder, where I think it was around about six points. And then I've got then you had the UK uh, judge who called it a draw, which I thought I thought maybe he might want to. Uh, maybe he might want to uh, favor his own fighter from the UK, um, but like just like the how the American did it, the American judge favored Wilder by four by six points. So it's just a shame that sometimes sometimes our judges need to be support more supportive to want to help our fighters instead of going against them or maybe giving a close round to the opposite guy. So look, it is what it is. I think um, the judging needs to be sorted out. I think I had Fury winning this fight. It was a great fight regardless for boxing, it was good, but you know, results like this when it's a draw just puts a bad taste in people's mouth because they'll be like, we really wanted to see Fury win or Wilder win. You know, if Fury had lost a the fight, then maybe that people would have been happy with that fight and find the rematch is going to be better. But because it's a draw, it seems like a dead fight. 
Yeah. And, it, and in terms of when you saw, you know, Fury there on the canvas in that round, I think everyone is probably one of the most mean things on Twitter going around that clip where he just he just pops up. I mean, really have you ever seen anything like that with no, a boxer? No, I, honestly, he, I mean, he took a big, big shot from one of the biggest punches in boxing. Came out like nothing had happened. And I couldn't believe after he was gone, especially the last round. I thought he was honestly gone. And I thought, damn, like he was winning that fight. And I thought just that one punch, just literally seconds before the bell went. And then he got up again. I was like, oh my God, like I've never seen nothing like it. You know, he looked like he was out once, once he hit the floor. And he hit the floor very, very hard. And it was a good, good shot as well. So credit to Fury, man. I mean, what a great fight he is. And honestly, like... I've always thought he's, and I've always said he's a wicked fighter. He's one of my best fight, one of my favorite fighters, and one of the best in the heavyweights out there. But, but, and I, and and, but, and never he never got the credit for it till now. I think now people are going to start showing him that credit. And obviously, we're here today, we're talking about think markets and, and boxing and how it helped. We've seen with Tyson Fury with the comeback he's made yeah, from obesity, from depression, from drugs. How boxing has got him on that path again. I mean, how impressive is his story and, and how inspiring she His is? story is very impressive. You know, he went through like mental health, depression um, and, and, and drugs and everything and how he changed his life around and then fought one of the best heavyweight fighters ever. You know what I mean? Wilder is up there as one of the best heavyweight fighters and, and one of the most powerfulest punches in the world and literally beat him but he didn't get a decision, it was a draw. So I think from coming back from that, what he went through is awesome. And honestly, a lot of credit to him. My heart goes off to him. He, he's a great sportsman, true gent. And I've always liked him. He's a friend of mine, lives in Bolton, not far from me. Uh, and I've always got time for him. But I just wish him all the very best. And I think if the rematch happens, I think he takes that fight.